Okay folks, Mag T here, and yes, another oil video, but this one, hey, I decided to go off to the side and went with a fleet oil, uh, primarily used in agriculture and uh, diesel trucks, but they do make an automobile oil that is uh, quite unique compared to others, and uh, hey, thought I'd give it a try and I'm going to use it in my EcoBoost and my 2011 Ford Edge with the 3.5 and the EcoBoost is the 2.0. It is a 5W30 and uh, the Duratec is very forgiving on engine weights or oil weights. So uh, yeah, 530 will run perfect in it and since the uh, EcoBoost requires a 530, I said hey, one oil, two cars. So let's go ahead and uh, change the oil in uh, this 2011 Ford Edge Limited 3.5 that I kindly call Blueberry. Uh, it has taken the place of Lulu Bell which has since been sold and retired. There it is. I do have the front end that I'm replacing but anyway I got it running here. Took her out for a drive. We're going to go ahead and start changing the oil and we are going to be using this oil. That's right. The Triax Synergy SRT, and I'll cover that more in a minute. The one thing that uh, old Triax is pretty proud of is a 15,000 mile oil change. I'm only going 200 uh, hours on uh, Blueberry, so that'll probably be about maybe 10,000 miles. We'll have a good idea on the TBN what it is, uh, but basically they're saying it's good for uh, EcoBoost in the uh, low speed pre-ignition that uh, we want so hey it'll work for the EcoBoost also but they are touting a lot in their uh, literature here as far as all the lubricants and it is a full synthetic engine oil and what they're saying here is it is a blend of PAO and ester oils uh, as far as what it meets is the specs Right here we do have the specs, and it is Ford spec. Now, I don't think you get that out of like uh, some other oils that are, uh, you know, essentially uh, uh, AMS oil and, and Redline and all that stuff. I know the full Redline will not be spec for Ford, uh, but they do sell another one that is not a synthetic as a PAO and ester, but they do sell a Redline. SN plus and this oil is all SN plus oil so that's what we're going to be going with as far as the oil change it is SN plus and uh, I have sent a sample out to be tested for the virgin oil testing so once I get that back then we'll have another video on that now I mentioned I go by engine hours so we're pretty close to the 200 hour mark and that's what I change the oil. Just for FYI, the uh, 2011 through 14 Limiteds do have what they call the Enhanced Trip Odometer. And that's what I have this set on to keep track of the hours, miles, gallons, and everything else that you see here. But we're going to go ahead and change it right now. Shut the engine off and start draining. Well, most of you know I really don't like using tools to change the oil and... All right, frankly, this old Fumoto valve has been going for about five years now. So we keep going with it. There we go. Oil's draining. I'll let it run for a few, for a minute or so. And you got to do this while the oil's hot. Cold oil don't work too good with a Fumoto. But anyway, we'll go ahead and let it drain here a second nice and hot oil now we'll go ahead and get a sample there we go we got our sample I always sample the oil what this oil is right here I <laughs> remember you know me I love cocktails so it could be anything and everything but uh, we'll go ahead and get a research and see what I did put in it and uh, we'll do the oil sample video here later on when that comes back well we got that done so oh yes look at that yeah I don't go to quick lube places I like to get my oil filter off 
problem is it's hot and it leaks when you turn it anyway let that drain for a minute and we'll whip that off and put the new one on uh, this filter would probably go again but since I'm switching over to that different oil I'm gonna change the filter just for that reason but I will not change it until I have 400 hours on it or roughly about 20,000 miles funny thing about the filter is I use it for t at least two oil changes in this car and uh, it takes that uh, about I think I get it for less than ten dollars because I get a discount and uh, that brings it down to really a five dollar oil filter if you look at it so hey well worth using the high quality ones because you can reuse them and I've proven that in the past by taking this same filter to 18,000 miles without issue Oh, if we can just get it off. There we go. Got that off of there. Wipe her down a little bit. Clean her up. Standard oil change. But we're using a different oil. Touches. And then there you go. That's all the tighter you have to do it. I mean, you could go further, but I found that they stay on. They don't go anywhere. See? Well, people always ask, how do you figure out how much oil to put in? Well, it's pretty simple. Six quarts right here. So I fill this up, and then I dump the oil in. All 3.5 Duratex take six quarts. Uh, the first gens may take 5.5, 5.75 but the 2011 on up they take six full quarts and that fills up the oil filter and everything I got this big bucket of oil as you will see if I clean the top of it off because it's got sawdust and garbage on it you don't want that in the oil We'll just dump that in there until we get to six quarts. Here we are, six quarts. Now we just dump this uh, PAO Ester Synergy Triax oil in. And this is the point where you stop and think to yourself, did I put the plug back in or shut off the valve? <laughs> anyway, using the snap-on funnel makes it easy. There we go. That's it, folks. That's all she wrote. Let most of it drain out. There we go. Put the cap on there. By the way, if you don't have one of these, one of these right here, they're well worth the uh, whatever 10 to 15 bucks that they cost. To do your oil changes this way you get the exact amount every time link down below and if you didn't know this snap on like I said good old snap on snap off right remember put the oil cap back on any direction counts 
and then we'll just let this set for a minute and then we'll check the oil there you have it six quarts nice and full and we'll go ahead and restart her got that done we'll hit trip two we'll just hit this to zero out trip two there we go and then we want to go to I think vehicle display settings vehicle settings there we go to vehicle I can't ever remember where it's at there we go oil life reset hit that and I always go to 100% because I go by hours just hold the button oil life set to 100% and we go back and I always run on fuel economy because I like to see what kind of fuel economy I get I never know what the controversies are. This Rhino ramp's made in USA. 3,000 pounds each, 6,000 uh, per pair, 12,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. Now, it does have that little rubber pad on there to help give it a little grip when you back up on it. But people say, oh, they crack, they break. Folks, I've had these for over five years and use them all the time. Look at them. They're in great shape. Uh, if you abuse something, it'll break. Just like your car will break if you abuse it. So, I don't know. But my Rhino ramps, they're hanging in there, folks. I don't know what else to say. Now we just go ahead and let it run a few minutes. Another minute or so, I'll shut it off, check the oil again. It'll be right at the level it needs to be. But that's pretty much it. I know I've done a lot of oil change videos and this is no exception to any one of them uh, but I guess the best thing you get out of is maintenance is key and then also doing things for yourself ahead of time help make those oil changes easy like that Fumoto valve having that pour container for the five gallon bucket having the right funnel to get the oil in there properly and the right drain pans so you can drain the oil in there and save it and take it and dispose of it properly at your recycling center all this stuff comes into play folks and it also comes into play because summer's here and maintenance is key if you want to go on those long vacations make sure you maintain your vehicle that being said this is mac t ford edge that's right youtube channel where you do all your good maintenance and repairs and also uh where my feet hit the floor today i'm having a great day and i want you to have a great day too along with band of one some great music and mercy girl with her one liners Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. <laughs>